Hey guys, welcome back to another Microsoft Office how-to video inside of Excel today. We're back at our <clears throat> pivot table and just our raw data, prices, and business problem sheet that we've been building off of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use AbleBits tonight. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and merge the duplicates. So, to do that, first what we need to do is, we're going to use the pivot table that we made. So inside this pivot table, say, say our business problem is that we have multiple store locations with multiple tracking numbers, and what we want to do is, since we already sent all of that, uh, all of the product to our customers, what we want to do is by store number, we want to find how many tracking numbers and how many products are going to that store. But say we want to just send it in a consolidated view and be able to just send, it just basically make a another pivot table or say another worksheet that had all this information inside of it. It's really easy to do with the AbleBits add-in, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So like I said, so we have to first, we have to identify the store numbers, and then we have to identify the tracking numbers, so that way we can pull in the data. So, <clears throat> inside of customer name, we're going to take that away from our pivot table fields. Then, since we want to get the store number, and we want to get the tracking numbers, we're going to add those in. Notice that the tracking number went into the values. We do not want that because the sum is going to give you an astronomical number in the side of the sum of the tracking numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this over into the rows. Now, notice you have some you have some data that it doesn't make much sense when you look at this. So you have the subtotals, then you have each line item. So what we want to do is we want to manipulate this data table to kind of give us store numbers and with no blanks and we want to make sure that our tracking numbers align with the store numbers so then we can copy and paste that data and then use it inside of AbleBits. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the pivot table then we're going to go into design where the pivot table tools tab is. We're going to take away the subtotals we're going to take away the grand totals off for rows and columns. Report layout. It's in compact form already. We want it to be in tabular form. See how each, each little uh, thumbnail that's on the left hand side, we're going to repeat all item labels here in a second, but we need to get it into the right form. So in this case, we're going to use tabular form. See how all the tracking numbers now align with your store numbers? So now we want to populate all the store numbers. So in report layout, we're going to repeat all item labels. Look at that. So all your store numbers and all your tracking numbers now align. So now what we're going to do to, to basically access AbleBits, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the store number and the tracking number, and we're going to make sure we grab all the data. In this case, I'll go ahead and just grab everything. You're in in some cases you're going to have data that's going to have remember we manipulated this a little bit and we kind of just plugged and played. So what we did was in this case we have store and these question marks. Obviously you're going to want to go in and figure out what store number it got, what tracking number, but I'm going to show you why AbleBits is so cool when it does when it grabs all this data. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this data. I'm going to go ahead and make another sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this data in. To paste that data in, you're going to hit Control C, like we used here. You're going to hit Control C. And notice it has the ants crawl and the ant army crawling around the selected data that you selected. And then you're going to go to this sheet and you're going to paste it into your first available cell. Let's call this able bits data 
Now, inside of AbleBits, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and highlight A1, because that's where our first bit of information is at. We're going to go to AbleBits Data. We're going to go ahead and merge the duplicates. Now, when you merge the duplicates, it combines duplicate rows and merges unique data referring to the same record, a.k.a. we have a, a unique store number with a unique tracking number. So we're going to make each tracking number go left to right instead of up and down. So we're going to go ahead and merge duplicates. Now it's running. Select your table. It's already selected the data that I needed because it identified what I wanted to do. Go ahead and back up the worksheet to default setting. So what we're going to do is the first row, what you want to do is you want to select the data that has multiple same records. So in this case, store number 555 has two records there. Store 650 has what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different records there. We're going to go ahead and select store number. We're going to hit next. And then it's going to ask you what the next data piece you want is. So in this case, we want to go ahead and put the tracking number. So go ahead and click tracking number. You can choose the delim uh, delimiter, which basically is the separation between uh, your outputs. So Say you have a tracking number, maybe you don't want the semicolon, maybe you want just a comma. Go ahead and pick that. Then you're going to hit finish. Watch this. And in just a few seconds, it took all of that data and it morphed it and basically put it in each now line item. Each store number has tracking numbers associated with this. If you were to do this inside of a pivot table with tracking numbers, you would do it for hours on end. I know that there, there was a project out there where we needed to do this for a customer. And the old process was find the store number, filter it, and take each tracking number and copy and paste it into the next cell. It would literally take hours. And look what AbleBits did. It literally did it in a matter of seconds. And it took away so much time, and it literally optimized this, this sheet. Now I can literally filter on store number, and say if I go to my filter and sort, I can go to this filter, and I can type in, stay, say, store fives or what? I don't know. Is there any, is there any twos? 2003? Sure. 2003, I can go and look what tracking number is associated with the product. And you can also add in the product code if you wanted to. I didn't do it in this video, but it's a very easy add-in and you would just do it the same process. So that's it, guys. That's a, that's an awesome tool. I found great use for it. I don't know if if many of you would have this use, but it really helped me out, so I thought it was worth making a video for it. Thanks for taking a look, guys, and if you have any questions, just uh, drop a comment and like and share with someone you think would use this. Thanks. We'll see you at the next video.